Hi there, I'm Farmer Brad and today I'm going to do a review on a under $50 fitness tracker. So it is right here. Uh, I was charging it earlier. You're able to plug it into the USB into your computer and let me go ahead and put this on. So you just wear it like any, any watch and it syncs up to your cell phone it's like that um, let me boot up the app and I'll go through some of the functionality that you can do with the app on the phone so every now and then uh, you can synchronize the app with your phone and it will pull in the data via Bluetooth. You can get your movements, the number of steps, and then there's heart rate. So one thing, like let's say I'm working out and I want to see how my heart rate is for a workout session. In the app I can uh, say start and it will be analyzing my heart rate as I'm doing that activity and then you can see whether or not it reaches your target um, beats per minute uh, goal that you have so right now I'm at uh, 116 beats per minute which is a little bit higher than normal but I did just kind of wake up so uh, once you've done your workout session you can click stop and it will tell you the range that it's in and then you can click on it and be able to see the whole uh, rate of data so my average in that short amount of time was 116 the max was 119 and the minimum was 113 now um, one thing that's interesting is it does have some uh, sleep tracking so if you leave it on at night it will uh, break it down to delta sleep, light sleep, and wake time. Now, I have a feeling that my wake time is zero because I get up with an alarm, but I would assume that wake time would be considered if you're starting to wake up naturally, and then just the gradual wake up. Um, but since I have a job and I have to work, I end up uh, setting the alarm and uh, getting to it. So. The other thing you can do is you can um, send, uh, have this uh, send you alerts and stuff. So if I receive a um, text message, the first part of the message comes up on here. And uh, you can just configure that with uh, the cell phone part. And then uh, what's a cool feature is. Um, Oop. what's a cool feature is like let's say you have your cell phone on a tripod and you want to take a, uh, a group picture you can have it there and then uh, discreetly just touch the uh, fitness tracker and it will take pictures so that's pretty cool um, I think I've covered all of the in-app features. Okay, so what's nice is the um, there's only one button on here, and you can just press it, and this will uh, take you through. So here's the steps. Press it again, and then here's the digital time with the date. This can also let you know if you have any alarms uh, set the battery life. Now this one, uh, let me go back to it. Now, uh, now this one, if you long press, it will come up with uh, a workout thing and it will start the timer. So let's say you're wanting to run and it will um, tell your beats per minute, the um, distance, and then your time there. So um, that's really good if you're going to be like 
running the track or something. Now, um, this does conserve battery um, pretty well. It's supposed to have about a 10 day um, use from uh, three hours of, of um, charging. Um, so now it's taking the beats per minute. So the screen keeps on clearing, but that's partly so that it saves uh, energy and stuff. Um, so there you can see like heart rates down to 86 and then uh, the time keeps on going. Um, so then I long press to get out of there and then this will, um, you can configure uh, your goals. So right now I have a goal of 10,000 steps per day and it will uh, keep track and let you know the percentage um, that you've completed that task. And then here, your miles and kilometers, or uh, yes, miles and calories burned. And then this one is where it will do a heartbeat. And it has a little green light underneath that um, is able to determine your uh, beats per minute. Then if I go to the next one, this will get my blood pressure. Now, this one boggles my mind. I have no idea how it is able to determine blood pressure uh, just from this. So I would probably use this with caution. Um, if you go to the pharmacy and there's one of those blood pressure machines, I would trust that probably more than this. Um, but you know, it's also, you can uh, compare it and see whether or not it's within range. Uh, so there was my blood pressure, 124 over 74. Now this screen, I don't really know what it's used for. I think it's just to be decorative and stuff. But for the main function, this is the QR code that you scan your app with in order to um, pair the two. Let me, okay. So if I go to this here, and I long press, it will bring up the sub menu. And then this is where you can turn on uh, different features like vibration, call reminder, messages, and then this is where you can, uh, so long press and then I can adjust the brightness and then long press to confirm it and then I can go down yeah now I will say that with moderate sunlight outside this screen can be very difficult to see um, but other than that uh, this is a great, um, it ended up costing me $45, uh, but this is a great little uh, fitness tracker um, that works great. So uh, make sure to check out the link in the description if you'd like to uh, purchase a fitness tracker like this. So thanks again for watching another review video by Farmer Brad and uh, make sure to check out the link in the description if you'd like to get a fitness tracker like this. Uh, so thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Bye.